Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Kumi Hemo braiding kit for beginners. I'll just show you what the box looks like. That's your box there. Um, Kumi Hemo is a form of Japanese braiding. Um, as far as I'm aware, Kumi Hemo means coming together of threads, so that's quite self-explanatory. Uh, this is the back of the box, so you've got a picture of everything that comes in there and you've also got a list of the stuff. So if I just go through the list, so the first thing is your Kumi Hemo braiding disc. You can see I've already got that set up for another one, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, that comes with instructions around it, so that's the instruction manual that comes with the braiding disc and that has instructions for a simple 8 warp braid which is what I started off with and inside you've got instructions for um, necklaces and things and also a 16 warp braid um, the Kumi Hemo, the round, uh, the cylindrical braid, it creates um, a hollow braid so you kind of have like a, you know, a space running down the middle um, you can also buy square Kumi Hemo plates, which you can do um, flat braids with. That doesn't come in the kit, I have bought that separately, uh, I think that was about £2.50 to buy. That is the more versatile of the two because you can do flat as well as round braids on that one. So what else does the kit come with? Um, you get the Zap Jewellery Gel, which is that one. I was a bit sceptical about this because I'm always kind of iffy about gluing anything because I'm always worried it's going to come apart um, but this is great it's really solid um, the necklace I made has accidentally been slept in and it's perfectly okay so I wouldn't worry just use it it's fine uh, much better than I expected actually uh, the next thing on the list is the eight of ease no tangle thread bobbins which are these things, all hanging off here, as you can see they're tangling themselves up nicely. Um, they tend to do that if you're just, you know, you're flinging them around. But I'll show you how they work. So to pop them open, you just, it's a bit difficult one-handed, you just bend them open like that, you wrap your thread around and you pop them shut again so they keep the threads tidy. Um, you can buy different sizes, I think these are the larger ones. And you can also buy Kumihimo weights, so if you need to keep your thread hanging straight down, um, I should think that helps with the tension. Um, the accessories. The accessories come in that little pot there. Um, so 6mm bullet uh, end, uh, end caps even. Um, those are silver plated. Um, in there you have a toggle clasp, two oval jump rings, two 6mm end caps and a pendant slide which I will show you in a moment. Uh, and the most important thing of all, you have your Kumi Hemo braid. So that comes on there and the mix is pebble stone, so you can see the colours there. And this is 2mm two uh, two rat tail cord, that's the colours that come in and you can see, you can see the thickness there. So that's fairly chunky. Um, but it is very nice to work with, it's smooth, um, it doesn't tangle easily, um, so that's good. Uh, so uh, they give you, just before I forget, they give you three yards, um, which is enough to create an 18 inch braid, so you've got more than enough in there. So this is the braid that I made, you can see that there, so you can see, I, mean, I think that looks great. For my first go, I was really impressed with the fact that it did look so professional. Uh, that's my pendant slide on there, so that's just on there. I haven't put a pendant on there yet, um, just because I don't have anything that matches this uh, this colour mix. And I'll show you the end caps. I'll just undo it a moment so you can um, get a better idea. So that's one end cap there with the jump ring and the toggle clasp and I'll just slide that one back down and that's the other end. So when you finish off your braid uh, what you do is you have to whip the end so basically you need a thinner thread, I just used uh, plain sewing thread, uh, wrap it around make sure it's very very tight to stop your braid unraveling and then you chop the end off as close as you can, glue it and pop it in the end cap. I mean 
I'm tugging on that and it's not going anywhere. I guess if it does come undone, you could re-glue it without too much of an issue. Um, so, like I say, it's just a toggle clasp, pop it through. It has made quite a substantial braid, as you can see. Um, there are lots and lots of different colours of rat tail. Um, if you do, <coughs> excuse me, if you do beading, then I'd recommend using the Superlon or Eslon thread, which Cookson's also sell, along with all sorts of other things for doing the Kumihimo braids with. So I had a go at beading. I have to say beading is a lot more labour intensive because you have to really concentrate on what you're doing. So there we go, that's what I made. You can see the gaps where I've missed. I've missed beads. Um, <clears throat> if you check out Anne Dilker's YouTube videos, uh, I think they're on the Beadsmith channel, that's the same people who make the Kumihimo kit. Um, she does some really, really good tutorial videos to get you started with just the plain braids and also with the beads. Um, so those are definitely worth checking out. Um, so I'll show you how the board works. When you get to a point where you want to stop, then recommend leaving three warps at the top so you know where you've finished. When you start off with your braid, you will have the threads either side of the dots. But as I'm kind of, uh, this is a work in progress, I obviously haven't. So this one I've made um, just using DMC embroidery thread. So I'll show you what it looks like on the back. So there we go. It's just that um, that's a spiral in navy blue and yellow. Um, it does show you how to do a spiral braid in the instructions. So if you hold on to the back of the braid so much as you can, so you keep your tension. If you need to, you put a thumb across. Let me just turn around so you can see this better, like that. So best advice I can give is left goes left and right goes right so I'll just bring this down so when you start off that's how your braids will look you just have a cross so the first thing is you move the left one up to the left and you'll move sorry again tangled these do have a habit of winding around each other and then you move the right one down to the right turn it counterclockwise and then same process. Um, if you wanted to do a mirror image of whatever pattern you're doing, you'll just start going clockwise instead. Um, I was really impressed with how simple this was actually. Um, you can see it, it grows fairly quickly depending on the size of braid you're using. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, this is, it's just so effective. It does look really, really professional once you've done it and there's a lot of scope for so many different colours, um, adding beads, you don't have to do with this, that was a bead on every single warp thread, you don't have to do that, you can do them, um, so you've got them kind of every other thread, I was just wondering if they had a picture of that, but they don't, there's loads and loads and loads of pictures and things online, if you do a Google search, there's a lot of stuff that will come up. Uh, I think everything you need to get started is in this kit, so it's a really good, it, I mean it's an ideal beginner's kit and it gives you a taste for it, if you don't like it you know, you, you know you're, not, um, you're not spending loads and loads of money on something so yeah I definitely recommend giving it a go if you do macrame or beading or anything similar to that have a go um, and hopefully I might have some more things to show you that I've made with it thanks for watching